Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we are going to learn about depth first search and breadth first search traversal of any given graph. Many students are finding this topic to be difficult, but actually it is not. Uh, many many students are finding it quite confusing about uh, between they are getting confused between this DFS and BFS. But if you understand the basics once properly, then such examples are actually very easy to solve. So in this video, we will be getting a clear idea between DFS traversal and BFS traversal. So for doing that, you must have the basic idea about the data structures like stack and queue. Because in order to do traversal with the help of DFS, we will be using stack data structure and for BFS traversal, we will be using queue data structure. So if you know the basics about those data structures, then we are good to go. We can solve this problem. Fine. So let's start. For example, this is a graph given and for this graph, we will be um, we will be writing the DFS traversal as well as the BFS traversal. Fine. So this is our given graph for which first of all, let's see how to find out the DFS traversal. DFS stands for depth first search. Now you have to remember that for depth first search, we will be using the data structure stack. Fine. And for BFS, we will be using the data structure Q. So this is the basic thing that you should remember. And then we are good to go. It is quite easy. First of all, DFS. So as we know in DFS traversal, we will be using what stack? So stack, we are making one stack here. Fine. So what we will do? For DFS, we will maintain one stack and we will maintain one output. Similarly, for BFS, we will maintain one queue, queue like this, and we will maintain one output. Fine. So this is the um, so both are I am showing you together because so that you won't be confused. We can clearly see the difference between these two. If you want to find out the traversal using DFS, what you have to do is uh, you have to maintain one stack and one output. And for BFS, you have to maintain one queue and one output. Now, first of all, let's see how we can do the this thing, the traversal using DFS. So DFS is depth first search. We have to maintain a stack. And what we have to remember that first of all, let's start with A. For example, A, we are viewing this A for the first time. Now, whenever we are uh, visiting A for the first time, I have to push it in the stack. As we know, the main two operations of stack are push and pop. Fine. So what we have to do is whenever we are visiting any alphabet or any node for the first time, we have to insert it or push it in the stack as well as we will write it in our output. Fine. A. So A we have already visited. Now in stack what we will do first of all we will push something and every time for going further we have to concentrate on the top on the variable which is at the top as we know what is top it is the uh, current position of the stack. So every time we have to proceed according to the top of the stack. So for now only A is there in our stack so it is at the top so I can say that my top is here so it is A. So from A, I will go on traversing. So for example, from A, I am traversing or I am going to B. Traversing from A means what? I have to see the nodes that are directly connected with A. So which are the nodes directly connected with A? That is B, G and D. Fine. So I can now after A, I can go with or I can take B, G, D, any, any of them directly connected are b g d i can take any of them but going alphabetically let me take b so now i am taking or visiting b so what i will do i will push it in the stack as well as i will write it in my output fine now now my top of the stack is b so i will see the directly connected nodes from b so they are e and f e and f now again going alphabetically i will from e and f i will take e so i am taking e fine so E I will push in the stack as well as I will write in the output. Now E as E is my top of the stack. Now I will go to E and I will see the directly connected nodes from E. 
so they are b and g but b is already there so the next directly connected node from e is g so what i will do i will insert this g into my stack as well as i will write it in my output section fine so g is there now g is my top of the stack so i will find from g which are the directly connected nodes from g a and e a and e both are already there fine from g a and e are already there so g i can say that all the nodes are already visited that are directly connected from g so so g is popped up so i am uh, for now i am here cancelling it so whenever i am cancelling it you can consider that it has been popped up fine so it has been popped up so now these three are my remaining elements in the stack so now again my top pointer comes here the top of my stack is e so now again i will go to e and see the directly connected nodes from e that is b and g uh now b and g are again already there b and g are already in my output so e all the nodes from e are also visited so i will pop this e also so now my top of the stack is at b so i will see from b the directly connected nodes from b are a e f a and e are already there f is not there so now i can insert f so i will insert or push f in the stack as well as i will write it in my output fine so after inserting f f becomes the top of my stack now from f the directly connected nodes are b d c b is already there now i can insert any of c and d but going alphabetically i will insert c so i am inserting c in my uh, i am pushing c in my stack as well as writing it in my output section fine now c becomes the top of my stack from c the directly connected are f and h f is already there so i will insert h and i will insert h in my output also fine now i will see from h from h directly connected is c only c and c is already there so i will pop h so top of the stack is c then top of the stack will become c from c c and uh, from c the directly connected nodes from c are f and h f and h are already there so i will pop up c then from f b and c b c d fine from f directly connected are b c and d but b c okay d is not there na see here top of the stack is f from f directly connected nodes are b c d if i check b c b and c are already there, there but d is not there so i will push d here in my stack and i will write it in my output section also now d is at my top from d i will see that a and f a and f are directly connected but a and f are already there so i will pop it up so now my top of the stack will become here all these are popped up so the top of the stack is this capital f from f i am having b c d b c d are already there so f is popped up then b is there at my top of the stack from b the directly connected are a e f a e f are already there so b is popped up then only a is remaining from a b g d and all are already there so a is also popped up so when all of my elements from the stack is popped up that means when my stack is empty i can say that my dfs traversal is over fine when my stack is empty i can say that my dfs traversal is over and this is my output traversal output that i obtained with the help of dfs fine so this is about dfs now we will see how to do the same with the help of q so doing the same with the help of q is very easy as we know for q we have to maintain what sorry for bfs we have to maintain one q and one output fine so how we'll do it for q for example again like stack in stack also we have started with a in q also in this bfs also for example we are starting with q so we will write q a we will start with a in bfs also for example we are starting with a so we will write a in our q as well as we will write a in our output fine then next 
like here what we were doing we were going as per the top whatever is there in the top of the stack we are performing with the help of that but in this in case of queue what we will do that whatever is inserted first all the nodes that are connected with that node will be processed first fine so how i will show you first of all i have taken a so i have written a in my queue as well as in my output now what i will see i will visit all the nodes that are directly connected with this a so all the nodes that are directly connected with a are b g and d right b d g fine so what i will do i will write b d g all here and i will visit them also b d g now are there any nodes that are directly connected with a that is left no the directly connected nodes with a are b d g and all are we have already visited them so this we will cancel it out because the work of a is already done now we will go with second one because in this how we will go whatever element is inserted first we have to process it first completely fine so a is completely processed and all the nodes that are directly connected with a have already been visited fine now the second is b now the second element that is inserted is b so i will see all the nodes that are directly connected with b they are from b we are having e we are having a e f so a is already there i will insert what e and f in output also okay let me write here a b d g are already here then i have written what e and f so e and f have also arrived e and f fine so all the nodes connected with b have already been visited so i can cancel it out b also then i am having what then the third element inserted was d from d i am having con directly connected are a and f a is already there f is already there so d is also over then i am having g from g directly connected are a and e a is already there e is already there so g is also over then comes e from e directly connected nodes are b and g b is already there g is already there so the work of e is also done okay fine then we are at f now from f the directly connected nodes are b c d b is already there d is already there but c is not there so i will insert c in my queue and i will insert c in my output fine this is my output i will insert c here also so now all the connected nodes of f are done so i will cancel out f also then i have to process c which are the directly connected nodes from c f and h f is already there now i will put h h here and h here so all the nodes of c are also completed then we are remaining with h the nodes uh, connecting with h directly connected with h are only c so c is already there so all the work of h is also completed so this is my output that i have got by the traversal with the help of bfs so this is the main difference between the traversal of dfs and bfs so as you have seen this is actually very easy you just have to know about the basics of stack and queue so from now please don't be confused between dfs and bfs they are actually very easy to solve you can solve it accurately and very easily within very short time if you know these basics right i hope you have understood these two very clearly thank you